flexible autonomous programs. Or to put it another way, one autonomous program with multiple strategies. I've already started my LabVIEW project. I've put my robot into the schematic editor. I've even written four small programs, each one a little different. They could be seen as different strategies that you would want to employ in autonomous mode. Obviously your programs and strategies will be much more complicated for the competition. I find it much easier to program my robot without using the autonomous template. It makes it much easier for testing. What would be cool is if I could take all these little programs and put them into one autonomous program. I can't take credit for this idea. I don't remember where I saw it. But we can use touch sensors and binary numbers to tell the autonomous program which sub-VI or which strategy to run. If you go down far enough, a computer is made of on-off switches, or zeros and ones. We combine these zeros and ones together to make other numbers, letters, or other pieces of information. So here are my four little programs. I'm going to open my autonomous mode, and let's see how we can use those touch sensors to choose which program to run. Here in the autonomous template there is a communication loop and a sequence block for you to put your actual code into. The first thing we need to do is read our touch sensors to know if they are pressed in. If they're not pressed in they will be a zero. If they are pressed in that will be a one. Actually, the, tr the touch sensors do not give us zeros or ones. They tell us, yes, it's pressed, or no, it's not, or true or false. So we're going to need to change that true or false to a zero or one. Go to the Boolean palette and choose the block to convert Booleans to zero or one. We'll need to convert both of the touch sensors. And then we're going to need to do a little bit of math. Binary numbers are built on powers of 2. The 1's digit can be a 0 or a 1. The second digit can be either 0 or 2. And then you add them together to find out what the number would be in decimal. So the first touch sensor I will leave as is. The second one I need to multiply by 2. And then I'm going to add these two values together to figure out what the value will be in decimal or our normal representation. If you need help understanding binary, there are plenty of resources on the internet. We're almost done. We just need to add a case structure. Case structures start off expecting booleans, but as soon as you wire up the plus sign, you'll start to see that the cases it expects are numbers. We need to add two more cases because we can either have 0, 1, 2, or 3. To add cases, you control click and choose add case after. Now, depending on the number that's given to the case statement, a different program will be run. So let's add these by choosing Select EVI, find your programs, and add each one of your little programs or strategies as a block into each case of the case structure. So if it's zero, it'll play option 1, if it's 1 it'll play option 2, and so forth. Now you have one autonomous program that you can always run and just by putting rubber bands on the touch sensors 
you can pick and play different strategies. Now you're ready to download and test your new autonomous program.